Resources files offer a very simple way to store information without a database. As well as general information storage, resources files can be used to automatically localize a page by providing text in different languages. In this lesson, you'll create resources files to store text in English and French. To begin, open the Forest Walks project from your Sample Files folder. And you're now going to add an App Global Resources folder to this project. Right-click Forest Walks in the Solution Explorer and click Add Add ASP.NET folder App underscore Global Resources The App Global Resources folder is a special folder that is used to store resources files. You might also have noticed the option for App Local Resources. Resources files stored in the App Global Resources folder are available to every web page in your web application. Resources files stored in the App Local Resources folder are only available to pages that are in the same folder as the App Local Resources folder. You would need to create a separate App Local Resources folder for each subfolder of your web application that required resources files. Placing resources files in these special folders allows their contents to be easily accessed. You don't have to keep your resources files in either of these special folders. But if you don't, you will have to use the System.Resources class to retrieve any information from them. I can't think of any real-world scenario where you'd actually want to do this. Next, you're going to add a new resources file named Web Resources. Right-click App Global Resources in the Solution Explorer and click Add New Item. Now click General in the left-hand pane and click Resources File in the central pane. And in the Name box type Web Resources dot R-E-S-X and click Add. Your new resources file is created and opened, ready for you to add information to it. WebResources.resx is automatically recognized by ASP.NET as the default resources file. Now click in the Name box and enter Dream Falls. This value works as a key that you will later use to retrieve the value. Now set the value to the most beautiful waterfalls. This is the actual value of your resource. You'll use this text for the English version of dreamfalls.aspx. And finally, set the comment to dreamfalls description. The comment field is used to explain the purpose of each record in your resources file. Comments aren't required, but they can be useful if a record's purpose isn't obvious. Note that resources files can store more than just text. If you click the top left drop down menu when editing a resources file, you can see a list of the different types of resources that can be stored in the file. 
As you can see, a resources file is also capable of storing images, icons, audio, and other files. Next, add another resources file for the French language. Name this file webresources.fr.resx. Because you added .fr to the name, ASP.NET will automatically use this resource file for the French language. Now you're going to add a new resource to the file for the French language. Set the name to Dream Falls. Set the value to Les Plus Belles Cascades. And set the comment to Dream Falls Description. Using these resources files, you can automatically populate a web page with the correct language. You'll do this in the next lesson. That's Lesson 613. Resources files are also useful for storing other information, if your needs are very basic. For anything but the most basic purposes, a database is a better choice. Resources files are not the best option for storing settings for your applications. You'll discover a better solution in Lesson 7-1. Close Visual Studio now, saving your changes if prompted. You've now completed Lesson 6-12. Add resources files to a project.